The 2025 Ford Explorer SUV continues its role as a suburban family shuttle with a few minor cosmetic updates and some new tech to keep things fresh. The lineup has been culled, with the base, Limited, King Ranch, and Timberline trims exiled. Rumor is a new, more rugged, off-road-oriented version is on the way to fill the void left by the departed Timberline. Both of the Explorer's powertrains, a turbocharged four-cylinder and a twin-turbo V6, each with a 10-speed automatic transmission, remain in place, as does the choice of rear or all-wheel drive. The Explorer's strong point is its family-friendly interior and third-row functionality. While that back row is not as comfortable as in some rivals, just knowing that it's there for when you need it buys some peace of mind. Fold it down, and it reveals a reasonable amount of cargo space. The competition in the mid-size SUV space is intense, though, and the Explorer is now facing off against a legion of highly talented rivals, including the Hyundai Palisade, Kia Telluride, Jeep Grand Cherokee L, and Toyota Grand Highlander, many of which offer more contemporary styling and overall refinement. The lineup has been reduced to just four trims, the Base Active, ST Line, ST, and Platinum. The front fascia is mildly reworked with a new grille, headlamps, and lower air inlets, while the rear gets new tail lamps. Platinum, ST, and ST Line buyers can spec a new black painted roof option, and more significantly, can for the first time add the Blue Cruise hands-free driving feature. Interior updates are focused on comfort and upgraded materials and incorporate new soft-touch surfaces on the center console and door panels and new color schemes. The 2025 Explorer is the first Ford to implement the Ford Digital Experience, a fancy name for its new software system that is designed to easily integrate a user's favorite apps and provide native streaming and internet browsing while parked. The price of the 2025 Ford Explorer starts at $41.22 and goes up to $56.80 depending on the trim and options. With the mid-level limited model gone for 2025, we think the ST line makes the most sense. It has the sporty cosmetic features of the ST and keeps the standard 300 HP turbo four-cylinder, but it's also nearly $11K less expensive. It also rolls on standard 20-inch painted alloy wheels. The Active has 18S, tows the same 5,000 pounds as the V6-equipped Explorers, and opens the door to the optional Blue Cruise and black painted roof, which aren't available on the base Active. It also includes a 12-speaker Bang and Olufsen audio system, a flat-bottom ST steering wheel, heated second-row seats, and power folding mirrors. We'd also add all-wheel drive for $2,000. The base active, ST line, and platinum trims come with a turbocharged 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine rated for 300 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. The ST is powered by a turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 rated at 400 horsepower and 415 pound-feet. All power figures are dependent on premium fuel. A 10-speed automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive are standard, but all-wheel drive is available. Ride and handling are composed and predictable, but drivers looking for a more engaging experience will want the Explorer ST as its extra power and stiffer suspension make it a bona fide performance SUV. When properly equipped, the Explorer can tow up to 5,000 pounds. The base turbocharged 2.3 liter inline four motivates the Explorer with a reasonable amount of authority. When we tested the Explorer with the four-cylinder engine and the now-discontinued Timberline trim in 2022, it hit 60 miles per hour in 6.0 seconds. 
The lead-footed drivers among us will prefer the ST model, which is powered by a 400 HP twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter V6. The thriftiest 2025 models have rear-wheel drive and the Turbo 4, which is rated at 21 MPG City and 28 Highway. All-wheel drive drops both figures by 1 MPG. With the twin-turbo V6, the Explorer is rated at up to 18 MPG City and 26 Highway with rear-wheel drive and 18 MPG City and 24 Highway with all-wheel drive. On our 75 MPV Highway route, the 400 HP Explorer ST earned 25 MPG, beating its EPA rating by 1 MPG. We also tested a four-cylinder Explorer with all-wheel drive on our 75 MPF Highway fuel economy route, where it returned 28 MPG, beating its EPA estimate by 1 MPG. For 2025, the Ford Explorer gets a bolder appearance and a more assertive stance. The front end is restyled with some trim-specific elements setting each model apart, but the grille is larger and the all-LED headlamps are sleeker. The air curtains are lower and wider than before. At the back, the tailgate is updated and looks much more modern. The LED tail lamps now extend from the corners and into the middle of the tailgate, where the Explorer wording is debossed above the number plate. A power lift gate is standard across the range. Other than model-specific badging, there are unique elements to each trim. The Platinum has a unique wing design, satin chrome accents, and an ebony grille. The ST and ST line both get a gloss black honeycomb grille with black mesh inserts, but the ST's red badging is evident. The ST line can be equipped with a special edition appearance package to help it look as sporty as the ST, but without the performance gains. The base active model has a sawtooth design with a black mesh grille and chrome bars. Wheel sizes start at 18 inches on the active, while the ST line and Platinum get 20-inch wheels in unique designs. The ST has 21-inch wheels as standard, but a range of 20 and 21-inch wheels in various finishes is available across the lineup. As for exterior colors on the Ford Explorer, 2025 brings a new extra cost hue for ST, ST line, and active trims called Vapor Blue Metallic. Other than Star White Metallic and Rapid Red Metallic Tinted Clear Coat, all other colors will be free and these include Agate Black, Carbonized Gray, and Iconic Silver. Some trims don't have access to the entire palette, though. There's a new black painted roof option available on Platinum, ST Line, and ST models. The Explorer's interior design has generally favored function over form, but its comfortable cabin gets a boost for 2025 with some new interior color schemes and the incorporation of more soft touch materials on the center console door panels and dashboard. A redesigned dashboard is shaped to provide front passengers with more space. Getting into the standard third row is fairly easy thanks to a mechanism that moves the second row seat out of the way at the touch of a button. Once back there, however, taller kids and adults will find that the seat is too close to the floor to be comfortable. Rivals such as the Chevrolet Traverse and Volkswagen Atlas provide more comfort in the third row. We managed to fit four carry-on suitcases behind the Ford's third row, and we fit a total of 31 carry-ons with both back rows folded flat. A 13.2-inch LCD touchscreen infotainment system is standard. New standard software, dubbed the Ford Digital Experience, allows drivers to access apps and services from Google and Amazon, as well as with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto through compatible devices. With the vehicle parked, it allows users to stream videos from YouTube and other providers, browse the internet, and play games via Google Play. There are also eight USB ports, including two for third-row passengers and three 12-volt power sockets.
A 12-speaker Bang and Olufsen stereo is standard on all but the base Active Explorer. Ford outfits every Explorer with a host of standard driver assistance technology and offers upgrades such as self-parking assist. For more information about the Explorer's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety CIHS, websites. Key safety features include standard forward collision warning and automated emergency braking, standard blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert, standard lane departure warning and lane keeping assist.